Hello everybody. Back from a trip here. It was a good trip. <laughs> well, I figure I'll just get started here with NBA. First video back. And to tell you guys that I do got my dual monitor set up. Hook, kind of hooked up. I still gotta figure out how I can record from the Elgato. But, anyways, let's get this thing started. It looks like old Damian Lillard wants me to do 30 points. Let's go ahead and do that. I see I got it on 720, but it eh, doesn't matter. Oh boy. Still hot out. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I can get back in the MLB a little bit and UFC Madden later this uh, next month Bunch of good games coming out later this year, which is good And there are the trailblazers This done the trailblazers All right here we go downtown Portland, Oregon. And now we take a brief check at the matches. Our starting five for both teams. Come on. Trail Blazers. Well, so often, guys, we see him just turn it on uh, when uh, the no. situation calls for it. He loves the big game atmosphere when everybody's charged up. And it seems to get him hyper-focused. And one of his other great qualities, Steve, is his quick trigger off the dribble. I mean, he can get his shot off in an instant, a nanosecond. Uh -huh. What are you thinking, Damien? They battled and battled, but could not pull it off at the end. Guys losing by just a single Aww, point. that they sucked. <laughs> Yips. They just needed another break. Got hammered there. Jesus. Yeah, you know, both teams All right, let's do this thing. Oh. A play or two either way. I thought both deserved to win, but only one could. Can you cover the worm? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And Rubio kicks to Love. Passes it to Money. Over to the wing. Shot clock at five. Rubio. A three ball. And that drops. Nice shot. Three pointer from Brewer. Beautiful. Got himself going there. His first points of the game. All right. Timbers. Let's do this. Beat these guys. Aha, uh -huh, almost. Rubio against Lillard. Pass to Robinson. Uh, get out of my way. Uh. Lillard outside. Portland needs to get off a shot. Here's Aldridge. Love grabs All right, the let's go. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Here's money. It's good. There we go. Beautiful. The shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And Steve and Clark, uh, what do you make right of in. comments to the media after their last game? Well, when you listen to what he says in these press conferences, and he, he just oh, comes off as really a Running player, out. never really makes it about himself. Whoa. He can help it and always willing to defer to others. Oh. You know, some players kind of have a fake humility about them, but he's not one of them. You know, he genuinely believes this stuff. He loves the organization. Oh, loves man. And I, I think he really enjoys the environment here, and he's really helped establish it, too. Here is Rubio following the basket by Nicholas Batum. Here's Money, guarded by Robinson. Here's Money, and again it's Minnesota. Boom! Gotta love the low post offense. That was beautiful. Minnesota comes into this one following the loss to Golden State. It was not a very inspired performance for them, particularly defensively. I thought, uh, you know, they gave the, the hostile crowd a lot to cheer about, frankly. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs yes. to the hoop, a lot of open jumpers, and in the end, the opponent's shooting percentage was right through the How hoop. dare you reach in on my teammate? Get out of here.
Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Rubio, the pass to Money. And he banks in the left. Boom. Got seven points in the game. Yeah, my guy's stats are freaking awesome. Lillard gets the screen from Aldridge. Lillard attacking and stolen by Love. Oh, yeah. Go, Kevin. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Rubio, the pass to Money. Come on, someone get open. No one's getting open. Shoots a fader, and again, it's Minnesota. The perfect four for four for him to start this game out. Boy, he looks. No one get confident open. Out there right now. Move around, guys. I'm gonna score the whole time. Can't get it to go. Yeah. Minnesota Screw you, Damien. Last time they met was in Minnesota. Well, looking back at that last game between these two teams, uh, they lost the game. I, I thought the, the difference was uh, they were badly out rebounded inside, and it's so tough to win a game when you can't secure that ball. Now here's Batum after the miss from Brewer. Matthews dishes to Aldridge, makes it off. The ah. Aldridge has got his second basket of the night. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that could really set things up uh -huh. for the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and then let your perimeter players play off your bigs. Boom. I'm sure that this team has been reminded of that by the coaching staff. Without question, you can't be right in. Heck yeah. In they needed to get some second chance points, and their defense needed to limit the offensive rebounds at the other end. Definitely that well, that pays. And handling both backboard. Oh. Oh, I thought that was blocked. God dang it. McCollum's got his first basket of the night. Timberwolves leading by four. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I had a chance to catch up with Terry Stotts. His squad picked up a win in their first matchup against... Ah! The freak. Good dang it. How dare you throw it out of bounds? Pound the ball into the paint and try to score the ball inside. Guys, it's certainly something the defense will anticipate, but will they have the length and athleticism to slow them down? We'll see. All right, Doris, thanks. Here's Lopez after the made shot from McCullum. Shot clock at six. Tipped away. Out of bounds. Minnesota oh, yeah. And a look at the oh, yeah. Season player efficiency ratings. I love this statistic. Wilt Chamberlain, uh, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and we've got some more modern talent representing as well. Yeah, you're talking the elites of the game when you go down that list. Interesting to see a, a new school stat. I got too good. Old school legends, but... Yeah, the, the rankings obviously make sense if those guys are at the top. Here's Cram after the made shot for money. Williams with the Oh yeah, Moe. He misses. No. Put that back up now. Yeah. Buttinger's got his first points in this one. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. I mean, defensively, the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. Oh. Nice play to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. I tell you what, guys, if he gets there a fraction earlier, that's a steal. Johnson, he's checked in. Oh, man, my guy on bench. Here's Cram. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Here it is again on a lot of their possessions this first half. All right. Oh, man, of course they're beating us now. The forwards are Batum and Thomas Robinson. Lillard and Matthews pair up in the back. And it's Aldridge in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for four. How dare you guys let them beat us. All-star for the third straight season. You know, looking back, he's really been the jewel of that 2006 draft class where he went second overall. Now, here's Rubio. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The pass to Love. Six to shoot. Here's money. Ah. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively. Limit his easy chances inside. 
Clark, you talk about wow. the bridge and what he's meant to the Trailblazers. Really the franchise player, Steve, in Portland. I think they look at him that way. And for a team that had to rebuild on the fly after losing so many of their key players to injury. Boom. Going back to Brandon Roy and Greg Oden. It's nice to see the Blazers bounce back and start to get Aldridge some help with guys like Damian Lillard and Batum and Matthews. Here's Lillard after the made shot for money. Dishes it to Matthews. And it's off from three-point range. Tim All right, let's go. Three. And Rubio kicks to Brewer. Here's money. Here's Put that in. Yes. They pick up the second chance points. Love's got his first two points of the night. For Portland, they've gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. Out of bounds. Minnesota that takes fruit. possession. And let's quickly go to our rookie leaderboard to find out which rookies have blocked the most shots this season. Well, you look at money. An intimidating defender. Oh, no. Jackson Ellis. No. Bumps and bruises to get his name onto that list because... He's been more than willing to throw his weight around on the inside. Yeah, defensively, he has great instincts on the inside. Here's Money, and he drops in the layup off the right end. Money's got four this quarter. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the charts. Lillard, the pass to Batum. Oh, yes, back up violation. Oh, Damian Lillard. Ranking first in field goal percentage, first and fewest turnovers per game, and they're number one in opponent scoring. They don't allow teams to get into a rhythm offensively, and thus they're able to hold those points down. And the shooting is really what stands out to me. This is a team. That Come on, Lopez. I'm gonna go. Open looks oh, oh, he yeah. stuffed the crap out of me. Oh my goodness. They're tough to beat. God dang it, Lopez. You're going to get it now, boy. Money in the last outing against the Warriors had a huge game. He finished with 51 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. Truly impressive numbers from him in a stellar performance. What a special night. Ah. Thanks. Well, we've seen a lot of great players have a lot of great games, but that that Clark was something special. Kevin, it really was. I mean, they threw everything but the kitchen sink at him, and nothing <laughs> slowed him down. But let's just say he was really good. Here's money. Following the basket by Thomas Robinson. Rubio, good on the Nice point. shot, Rick. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. They're five times already the lead has changed. Now, here's Matthews. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Lopez sets a screen for Batum. He used that pick to get in close. Batum's got the game tight. Thank you, man. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and it's paid dividend. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Maria with it. He's covered by Matthews. And it's going to be a three -season. Come on. I hate when they call it right when I get out. Take a look at some of the numbers for Kevin Love. He's right around 17 points a night, 10 rebounds, and two assists. And with his ability to put the ball in the bucket, you have to game plan for him defensively. And if you don't, Steve, he could put up a lot of points on you in a short amount of time. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Yes, Kevin. Well, Rick Adelman had some advice for his team over that last break. He said, we're going to make things much easier on ourselves if we can establish a better interior game. And it starts with opening gaps in the defense and making sure there he gets into the post. The other thing he stressed was the need to be disciplined on offense. He asked for good ball movement and good shot selection. Guys, they're Get off me, Lopez. Yeah, yeah stuff it. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, Maui. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Here is Berea, right now averaging five points a game. Pass to Money. Four on the clock. He feeds it to Berea. And, uh, yeah! Excellent ball movement there, guys. 
Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. The defense hasn't been able to set up. Miller against Williams. Lopez, a screen on Williams. Here is Lillard. Shot is no good. Great tee that time. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. Kevin, I'm here with Ricky Rubio. Ricky. And now. Gee, my PS4 is making loud noises. The weekend is in full. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. The city they sometimes call Bridgetown. We welcome you back to Portland, Oregon. What a game we're seeing from money. Yeah, it's been sheer. Another bad shot. By him so far, just tearing them up when he gets inside. And getting it to him is the only hard part. Once he has it, he's automatic. You know, when you're a small guy like J.J. Barea, most of the time the role you have on the team is to be a distributor and move the ball around. But Barea is different in that he is in complete attack mode as soon as he steps on the floor. I like that about him. He's looking to score. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court for Minnesota. Rubio and Martin Manning the back. Money out there with Kevin Love. And it's Brewer in at the three. Now Rubio. Nicholas Batum missing from long range. Here's Money. Guarded by Robinson. The jump hook. The shot's good. Right in. Money's got the first basket of the second half here for the Timberwolves. And going back to Berea, kind of a, a change of pace guard, I guess is a nice way to put it. Tough to stay in front of him. God dang it, Kevin. Guards, but he's very skilled running the pick and roll and for his size surprisingly strong and crafty oh. finishing around the rim. Come on man, you know you want to miss this ball. Come on. Come on, Aldridge. Ah, uh, I see what you wanna do. You wanna try to beat us. It's not happening. Almost seven feet tall and extremely ah. Come on, stop Lillard! Lillard left side. Thank you. Wow. Lillard's got eight points. Well, that's one way to get the second half started on the right foot. An easy layup against some soft defense. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Rick Adelman gave to his team during that break. The ball has to be fed into the low post much more than it has been to this point. That was his message. He said, there Right in. Let's take advantage of it. He also wants them to concentrate on working as a team at the offensive end. Passing, patience, and teamwork. Those were the messages. Those are likely not the last adjustments they made. Come on, today. Damien. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. Always great to hear from you, Doris. And with that shot. Come on. Someone needs to cover him. In the basket from Aldridge. We're going back to Aldridge for a second. He really does have the skill set of a power forward Clark and the body of a center. Yeah, you know, that versatility is really impressive. When you think about a big guy guarding him, you can take him outside and utilize that jumper and quickness. And then if he has a smaller guy, ah! work him over inside. The Timberwolves shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And over the course what? I missed two? Come on, man. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage. <sighs> Minnesota leading by three. Rubio gets a screen from Love. The shot is off. Uh. With some nice deep. The Trailblazers have gone two or four here to start the second half. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. There you go. Well, an illegal screen is one of the toughest calls for the official to make. You know, I agree with you. You've got to have some sympathy for the referees when they have to make calls like that, but they get paid well, and they're the best in the business, so they can handle it. Minnesota making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Now, here's Rubio, averaging eight points a game. They set the pick. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Oh, my God. Deflects that out here. And the basket by Rubio. Rubio's got five points so far. 
And he will take the ball right into the teeth of the defense. Well, for the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oklahoma City. They let go of their previous trainer who'd been with the team for 19 seasons. You know, fair or not, I think the, the seat got hot after all the injuries that were really devastating this team. Nikola Begovic is checked in for Johnson. Here's money. Shot. God dang it. Great D that time from Clavier. Here's Batum. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Six points for him. Yeah, nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back end. I mean, he polished it off perfectly. And for the Blazers, statistically the most injured team in the NBA, Clark, from 2009 uh, through 2012. And the new training staff is advanced in not just injury treatment, but injury prevention. And that's key using strength bands, recording baseline measurements, muscles, there we go. flexibility, even using Eastern medicine. So they're not leaving any stone unturned. Here's Lillard after the made shot from Monday. Lillard attacking. Timberwolves leading by five. To the right side. Buttinger with it. Passes to Money. Five on the clock. And here's Shved from the arc. Nice. Shved's got himself on the board with three there. Seems like guarding him on the perimeter is not a priority for this defense, but it will become one if he continues to knock them down. Now we get a chance to view the NBA's best setup man, fifth Ricky Rubio. His passing has been so yeah. terrific. And best of all, it's created yeah. a really unselfish atmosphere on the team, and I think that's why they're doing well. A minute 20 left here in the third quarter. And Freeland kicks to Clavel. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. And the shot is good. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half. And I like that. A little smash mouth basketball, taking it inside. Here's Money. And he gets it to go. Money's got the lead up to eight nice. now for Minnesota. Well, the number one priority for a defense uh, when you face this guy is to keep him getting anywhere from the basket because he's just so strong as a finisher. And one other thing, you know, I like his vision when he's posting up. Being able to score down there is just Come on, part of being an effective post player. Uh. Punish him for doubling up on you, too. Well, Damian Lillard joins the list of outstanding great point guards out of Oakland, California. You go back to guys like Gary Dang it. Jason Kidd, even Brian Shaw, who won titles as a player and coach in L.A. Here is Berea, defended by McCollum. Here's Money. No! No! I missed a post shot. No! Lopez sets a screen for McCollum. Feeds it to Cunningham. Comes up empty down low. Williams with the ball. Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points of the game. The pass to Money. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Williams in the post. Well, that didn't even count. As we head to the fourth quarter, Timberwolves lead by six. Oh, crap. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. <sighs> coming up next Monday night. And Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game, coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason, Kevin, because he passes the ball so well, sets up his teammates beautifully, really gets this offense into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass important, but, but putting the pass in the right place for shooters, as you well know, you. Yep, no question. Robinson and Aldridge. Right. Mount. Out there with McCollum, and it's right, and it's loose. Ah. That's not the way for a team to get back into a game by giving up easy shots like that. It has to start at the defensive end. Williams kicks to Martin. 
lost to Money. Now the feed to Martin. Three pointer. And he gets it. Nice. And the Timberwolves lead by six. Oh, ho, ho. the rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Now here's McCollum. He kicks to Aldridge. He dishes it to McCollum. Back to Aldridge. Rocket six from downtown. And McCollum the bucket on the assist by Aldridge. Thank you. Down the stretch and win your ball game, Steve. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Rick Adelman as he addressed his team. He told them, the game is right there for the taking, fellas, but we've got to be first. First to lose balls, first to the rim. We have to give our all right here. Kevin, now's the time. Time. They built this lead through plays exactly like that. He's easily been their most consistent performer. Well, he's been splashing everything today. It's stolen by Martin. To the paint. And the basket by Nice. Rubio. Now it's a seven-point Timberwolves lead. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And the other thing they're doing is they're forcing turnovers and then converting those miscues into points at the other end. Here's McCollum after the made shot from Ricky Rubio. Three on the clock. Let's it go from 11. And again, it's Portland converted. You know, tired legs can affect you at the defensive end. Right. I think that's what's Finish this right game here. off. I agree, because as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Here's money on the wing Brewer. Pass to money. And the call will go against Thomas Robinson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. He just picked up his fourth personal foul, and now he's got some foul trouble hanging over his head, guys. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Lillard's checked in. Now here is Mark. Tries again. And there we go. Beautiful. Money. Money's got 12 points here in the second half. Rubio against Lillard. Kicks to Aldrich. And again, it's Portland converted. Oh, trying to copy me, Aldridge, huh? Because both teams now really getting after it. And it's been a fun half of basketball, Steve. Now oh, here's Love. Need one more point here. I'm going to go get it. The jump hook. No. I meant didn't get it. Ah, crap. Matthews into the lane. That one goes. And now just a give me that ball. I need this what last point. That was kind of a stylish finish. To the paint. Here's money. That's it. There we go. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got his fifth assist in this one. Alert against Rubio. Lillard dishes to Robinson. Good. Ah. Nothing too fancy. Just simple execution. That's getting the job done. And they need to make every possession count. I agree, Clark. They need stops and they can't afford any wasted possessions. Those inside shots are, are really high percentage looks. Pass to love. Here's money. Guarded by Robinson. Love the pass to Brewer. That's a two from Martin. And he nails that ah, one. Crap. And the Timberwolves lead by five. He's had an off game thus far, but his team has been able to pick up the slack and find a way to get it done here. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, over the break, I listened in on what Terry Stotts had to say in his huddle. He spoke to his players very bluntly, saying, let's get out there and wreak a bit of havoc. Ah, man. They've been playing a little too static at the defensive end. I don't know what that said. As always, Doris, thank you. Here's money. One twenty one left in the fourth. Unloads, and he gets there. We go. Spin and that one drops. Money's got thirty three points. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been given a medicine. Rubio against 
Lillard. Dishes it to Robinson. From the low block. So the whistle blows on the shot. Come on, Kai, or Kevin Love. Look at what Lillard has done so far. He's got 10 points, and the assist numbers, tremendous. His court vision, Clark, has been phenomenal. He could not be passing the ball any better than he is right now. And he makes both free throws. Getting it done at the line, as he usually does. And that could be huge in a tight game like what we have here. Rubio, the pass to money. It's good! Yeah! yeah. Just like that one, with him bailing them out with a big shot. Steve, he's been fantastic, and that's the reason this game is... Thanks! Oh, Nelly, listen to that. That shot of listening to roar from this gigantic crowd. That was huge, guys. Absolutely huge. Now, here's Rubio. Martin kicks to Rubio. And there's the pass to Money. Deep, and he was Whoa! The what the? What the heck was that? Well, that just adds to what's probably an already insurmountable lead. I think they'll be walking out of here with a pretty easy victory. Steve, I think that's a given. And you got to think those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. It's like I shot it through the hoop and it went back in. <laughs> Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Connects from oh. oh my god. Over a taller defender. A little bit of a rainbow three, but like you said, it had to be. Come on, Martin. Let's do this thing. Yo no! Do not miss this shot. That's good. There you go. Gives them a four-point cushion. Here's Lillard. Fades away. Can't get it to go. Nice. Well, they don't get Good game. more exciting than that, Clark. They sure don't. When it was gut check time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports Group, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Money. Money. Yeah, heck yeah, money. Three highlight plays. Winner of the game. Probably didn't get over a thousand for that game. Hey, my man. <laughs> Thanks for seeing me again, champ. No problem. Always willing to listen. I appreciate yeah, this is that. A I really guy. Do. Oh, hey. I saw the game last night. Oh, you crushed it. You crushed it completely. I made a note to myself. I said, I need to see him again immediately. <laughs> so, I, I gotta know. You thought about my offer. Yeah, of course. And again, I want to say thank you for the offer. It's, it's very nice. Oh, but sure, please. I can't leave my friend. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I've known him forever, and it's just, it's not, it's not right. No, I understand completely. I mean, friendship is the cornerstone of business, and and friendship is is is, is very important. But I mean, I, I also have to say, it just gnaws at me a little bit. You're kind of doing yourself and your family a bit of a disservice. See, if he was a real friend, he would also know that business is just that. Business. Yeah, it's not that simple. And plus, it's not like I'm struggling to make ends meet right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course you aren't. <laughs> I didn't mean to imply that. You know, but you got to get yours while you can, right? Huh? See, you're not going to be an NBA star forever. And uh, a career ender could be around the corner. You never know. You see, these are your peak years for earning. And I mean, your friend has probably already talked to you about this, right? I'm sorry. That's you know, that's not even my business. 
Hey, look. Why don't you take this from me as a sign of good faith? Hmm? Nah, I, I, I can't accept that. Nah, nah, sorry, it's already yours. <laughs> it's already yours. You just think of it as a, a tiny piece of the things that could be coming your way. I mean, it's... it's. <laughs> thank you. It's, it's very nice. Well, you enjoy that, all right? And we'll talk again soon. Okay? Hmm. All right, jams and tapas the next day. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check in with all of our players. So, how are you feeling about the team at this point of the season? Yeah, I'd say the Timberwolves are not a very good team, but with me on the team, man, freaking they're doing good. Hey, I'm really happy with the team right now. I like the direction things are going. Coach has been great. Hey, we just got to keep winning games, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Listen, I'm really happy that things are working out for you. Keep up the good work. For sure. Definitely. Thanks for checking in. No, anytime. Absolutely. See, I heard you got a new place. How's it coming along? Oh, man. It's you like looking it? good up in there. Yeah? Got to well, come through. I'll have a barbecue one of these weeks. Oh, I'd love to, yeah. I'd love to check it out. I heard the views are really nice. Oh, man. You know, always. Bring the lady, Okay. Course. Yeah. The Couple secretary, maybe. maybe. Yeah. That all works. Play some 2K. Oh, have you heard about the new... <laughs> 40 minutes, Jesus. At the bowls. The bowly bowls. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have initiated our descent into Chicago metro area. Hope you have enjoyed the flight. See you again soon. So, let me see what our record is here. Timberwolves, 21 and 23. A lot of those losses were way before I started up. They were like 12 and 20 something. We're just winning them games. <laughs> Look at that. Last 10, 9 and 1. <laughs> and that's because of me. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you a little later.